Hi guys, how's everyone doing today? Today I'm going to be talking about that narcissistic mother. Having a narcissistic mother is something that is so soul crushing. You can just distance yourself or completely cut them off. However, if you're very, very young and you're still living in your parents' house, a narcissistic mother's house, it can be very tough to kind of get your mind straight as well as dealing with that narcissistic mother. I have seen a narcissistic mother at work and it is one of the most <sighs> saddest things ever. You know, I've seen narcissistic mothers, you know, go through their daughter's belongings, you know, make them depressed and be happy that they're depressed, not giving them any help for the depression, but watching their daughters and their sons, you know, sabotage their life. And I can see them feeling better about themselves. And it is so, so sad. And as an outsider looking in, obviously you can see, but when you're in it, you can't see as clearly. I've seen narcissistic mothers treat their daughters like slaves and, you know, make excuses for their sons, especially if these narcissistic women have, you know, at least three plus kids. You know, they will treat their son like the man of the house, especially if this woman does not have a husband, boyfriend, or some kind of man in her life, she will treat that son like he is the husband. She won't demand him to clean the house. She won't demand for him to cook, but she will demand him to pay bills like he is the father of her kids. She will demand her son to look after her, even though that is not his job. She will then treat the daughters differently okay so she will then demand the daughters to cook and clean and you know basically slave them she will walk around like she is the queen so when she comes home she expects her house to be spotless even if her house is spotless she will still find ways to make a dig at the way you clean you know she will find something to moan about when she comes home she wants her daughters to serve her like a queen but then she won't expect that same thing from her sons. For example, she would never allow a boy to stay over with her, with her daughter. She would never allow men in the house, sleeping in the house, whilst her daughter's living there. But her son at the age of 13, 14, she don't mind women staying over. She don't mind women being in the house, but she will never allow her daughter to do the same thing. She will choose who she gives love to. She will choose who's the favorite, depending on what that person is doing for them. For example, if the son is paying a large amount of bills, she would then make the daughters feel like they are inferior. She would then make the daughters feel like they have to cook and clean and wait on her hand and foot just to get a little bit of love compared to the amount of love she's given to her son. Let's just say the narcissistic mother has two daughters and one son. She will bully one daughter and usually it's the daughter that she is jealous of. Maybe that daughter is better looking, more talented, maybe she has a better body than she did at her age and she will use the other daughter to bully and make the other daughter feel jealous. You know, I've even seen this with my own eyes. I've seen a grown 50 plus year old woman using her 18 year old daughter to bully her 15 year old daughter. They bullied her about her skin color, okay? This happens a lot in black communities. And what, why I was very confused when I saw this is because she kept saying that, you know, the daughter was ebony and she had a really black neck and she kept laughing about it and they were both laughing about it. And, you know, that is the reason why us black women and men hate our skin and we bleach our skin. You know, it starts from our narcissistic mother telling us that we are dark, no one's gonna want us and, you know, we have to work harder because we're dark. That's when you know, darker black women and men start to get jealous of lighter women and lighter men. Especially if that narcissistic mother is very, very jealous of that daughter. That daughter will be treated like trash. That daughter has to make sure the house is clean by the time she gets back from work. 
that daughter has to make sure that that bath is cleaned and runs that bath for the mother whilst the mother is in the room taking drugs drinking alcohol talking to strange men online she would demand her daughter do all these things she has no time for her daughter if her daughter tries to talk to her about you know what happened at school or her grades or maybe she's feeling depressed lonely maybe she's being bullied at school the mother will not care as long as the mother gets to drink her alcohol, smoke her drugs, speak to her men, sleep with her men, or get what she needs to out of her kids, she is not bothered. As long as she gets her narcissistic supply from her kids, that's all that matters. A narcissistic mother will not allow you to have any privacy. You can't have a lock in your door in that house. She can have a lock in her door in her house, but you can't have that. What she will do, she will come into your room and she will go through all your things. You can't hide anything. She will go through all your things whilst you're at school or maybe she has a day off work. Especially if that narcissistic mother is a bit on the older side, maybe you're an adult now and you have a new boyfriend or a guy that you like, she will try to flirt with that guy in front of you just to show you that I don't respect you. I can get your man. She will even sleep with your man if she has the opportunity. It is actually disgusting. As a grown woman, who do you think you're going to attract? You're going to attract other narcissists, people who are just like your mother. Let's just say your father is not a narcissist, but your mother is a narcissist. The father is going to run away, go no contact with your mother to protect his peace of mind. She would then twist that and she will tell these children that your father does not love you. She will turn her kids against her father just because the man does not want nothing to do with the narcissistic mother. The narcissist is with a man who has cheated or constantly cheats on her. Yeah, she will take them back, but you don't know the spiteful things she will do behind that man's back. You know, I've heard of a narcissistic woman rubbing scotch bonnet chilies all over a um, flannel, a rag, a washcloth and leaving it for the man to wash himself with. She will love it, she will laugh, and she will have such a great time doing it. As the child of that narcissistic mother, it can be very difficult to actually even try to distance yourself from her. Not so much go no contact, because you know they can't, they will not allow you to go no contact with them. They will work their hardest to sabotage their daughter's life. They'll make the child overweight or anorexic, they will make the child feel guilty for having their own money, for having their own things. This narcissistic mother would say, I'm struggling. I, I can't pay my rent. Please help me. So the money that you make from your job, you will feel like you need to give your mum all of this money. Especially that your mum looks after you. You will feel guilty for not helping her. Meanwhile, she's spending that money that you have given her on men drink, drugs, outfits, partying, whatever the case may be, she will spend that money on things that's got nothing to do with you. She is not investing that money back into you, your career, or even just the household. A narcissistic mother can be so deadly and it could be a thing where it takes you years and years to just understand what has happened in your upbringing. There's many tests online that you can Google, that you can search on YouTube, the narcissistic mother test, to find out if your mother is narcissistic. But there's so many different things, you know, using your siblings against you, giving one love, giving one more support, you know, teasing and bullying one, and it's just a whole mess. When I had my issue with my narcissistic partner, the first person I ran to was my mother. So if your mother is the narcissist, you're gonna be in a full trap. You fall for a narcissistic man and then you move back home with your narcissistic mother. This can even be more difficult if she's a covert narcissist and she shows you nothing but love and she doesn't bully you or she makes you jump through hoops just for validation. She'll never say, oh, you know, you're ugly or you're this or your skin's this. But if you say to her, look what I did at school, she would say, but it's not an A. You would come back and you get an A and she'll say, but it's not an A plus. She would always make you try to strive and strive and strive for greatness. And no matter what you do, it's never going to be good enough. 
even if you hit that goal, she'll be like, okay, that's fine. You know, this person had it as well. My friend thought I had it. So she will just downplay your achievements. Then when it comes to everybody else, she would act like, yes, my daughter's a doctor. She will brag about her daughter to other people, but she will never give you that validation that you need and that you want. This is why you end up falling for toxic people, codependents, narcissists, because you're looking for validation in, from a stranger. The same validation you should have got from your mother. This is really, really hard, especially if your mum is a single mum, either that be by choice or not. She's a single mother and she's narcissistic, so you can't run to your dad for help. You can't go and live with your dad. There's nowhere to run, you are stuck with this demon. She sabotages these little girls before they have a chance to even grow into who they really are. She turns them into flying monkeys, enablers, codependents, especially if you're different and you do things completely different from what that narcissistic mother does. She's not gonna be happy with that. If she wants you to be a doctor and you end up being a makeup artist, she's gonna look down at that. Because remember, she can't go to her friends and family and brag about that. If you are going through this with a narcissistic mother, I am praying for you and I hope that you are healing from this.